Ponder the thought, what if the Cubs don't sign Cody Bellinger? What's that going to mean for the lineup? What's that going to mean for the roster? We're going to talk about that on the Cubs Baseball Channel. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Make sure that you like and follow. Uh, Give us a thumbs up. That's a great way of saying go Cubs, and let's get this thing started. What do you say, everybody, with Mick Gillespie? There's the old catfish himself, Chad Anderson, as we talk about the Cubs here, uh, still on the road, but uh, be back in the home studio soon. We're going to actually have some uh, live people coming in behind us. And, uh, I, I was going to say, is, like is, that? A, is, that a, is that a party in your hotel room? Yeah. Like, what, what's going on back no, there? I'm in, the, I'm in the lobby. Like, the, uh, the hotel that I was staying at, the, the internet was so bad yesterday. I recorded the show five times and just picked the best of the worst, you know? So mm. we, we basically, I don't know what was going on, but the, uh, the internet there was <laughs> terrible in Key West the last day. <laughs> and uh, so if you guys watched that show, thank you. You, you really dedicated if you stuck with us yesterday through that glitch. So I think we're, we're actually plugged in today and then tomorrow we'll be back in the home studio. So, uh, you know, starting to wind down, but, uh, always great to see you catfish and always uh, at this chat is real and I'm at broadcaster Mick on the social. So, uh, hit us up there. All right, well, let's get into some Cubs topics, right? Pitchers and catchers report. On February the 14th, right? That's Valentine's Day, Kat. Don't forget, you're married. Make sure you take care of the wife. But if you're going to Arizona and you're part of the Cubs, like, guess what? You better get ready for some baseball. And the Cubs could add pitching between now and then. I I heard an interview with Bruce Levine on his show on The Score with uh, Carter Hawkins, and he was talking about, hey, keeping an eye on waivers, keeping an eye on the trade market, keeping an eye on you know guys that are free agents that haven't signed. But the Cubs are working on building the bullpen. We knew that was something that yep. they were going to have to do. But besides that, the big question is, will they have Cody Bellinger before then? Or will they have him at all? Well, I, I think if you don't end up with a big bat like Belly at some point in this offseason, and are, are there any other bats even out there? I, I guess Matt Chapman, kind of, but he's no Bellinger. You could and you could go get Joey Votto to play first base. You could yeah, that would. I mean, he would at least provide content for social right. media, right? <laughs> um, I saw him; he was hugging a mascot recently on Twitter yeah. <laughs> earlier today. Um, but so. Take this from Mick. It wouldn't just eliminate, in my opinion. The the National League is the Dodgers, the Braves, the Phillies, Mm -hmm. and and maybe the Diamondbacks again. Mm -hmm. Like Those are the four, right, in the National League. The Cubs get Bellinger. They're still not above any of those four, just in my opinion. Yeah. They're still not above those four. But they're at least like a team that – should make the playoffs in a team that you get hot at the right time could cause some problems for these other teams that have, you know, really solidified themselves. But if the Cubs don't get Bellinger and there's no other bat out there right now, unless you start trying to figure out some, some trades here at the last minute, then at that point, I I think there's a few problems because one, you, you, in my opinion, completely eliminate yourself from any kind of serious contender. The Mm -hmm. National League Central, to me, is pretty weak, so you could still back your way maybe into the division title, Um, but if you do, you're not going to go anywhere with it. It's like winning the AL Central. Nobody ever takes the AL Central (laughs) winner serious, you know? Right, right, right. right. and, And then the other problem is you went and splashed and shocked the entire baseball world by hiring Craig Council on whatever day that was November 3rd or something. Yeah. You, you did that. And then all of a sudden everybody's expectations went through the roof. Like there's no way you hire this guy and then don't go do something else. Right. And whether the Cubs have tried, obviously they've tried, but whether they 
you know, did or didn't offer up enough money for certain guys. If they were in the running and somehow couldn't close the deal and other franchises did, whatever the case is, to me, as a fan, players in the locker room, they're going to see it as, damn, this is now an uphill battle. Like you will have lost momentum, in my opinion, at that point, because what's the only free agent signing you would have had? Imanaga? Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that's it, right? So I, I just, I worry about there's, that. There's and, too. I mean, yeah, the, there's, the believer. I, I'm not counting bullpen guys as like a, a huge impact to a day to day. So right, right. I, I would just be worried as a fan and, and in the clubhouse, like it would feel like you lost a ton of momentum. It would feel like an uphill battle and it would be deflating. And the season hasn't even started yet. Yeah. Well, you got to remember this. And I keep saying that uh, Carter Hawkins, Jed Hoyer have done a good job of being patient and waiting for the market to work to their uh, their liking. And and, and in that interview, um, it sounded like Carter Hawkins was basically saying, um, you know, they have a value. The player, obviously the agent, we have a value. And when those get close, then you're able to make a deal. Now, he I didn't right. I don't know if he was specifically talking about this this deal or or not. Um, but I mean, I think definitely indirectly he was. But I, I agree with that. I mean, I, I the days of being able to go out and hand over piles of money are over just because of the issue with linear TV. You know, I mean, you got to be careful with the money that you put out in a deal like this. Now, with that said, he's still going to be compensated really well for the season. And um, uh, and I think that if you're the Cubs, you just got to make sure that you make a, the you, you get something done that you feel comfortable with because you just don't want to be handcuffed in other areas. Now, right. I've heard people say, well, the Cubs are playing chicken with Boris in this deal. Uh, I I dis- totally disagree with that. I mean, I think that we ignore baseball sometimes as being a sound business because we let our fandom get in the way of logic. I mean, you're a business owner. I'm a business owner. When you make business decisions, they have to be decisions that work for the entire company. And right. even one star employee isn't going to make a whole team, you know, and, that, and, that, and that's kind of where I'm looking at. Look, it would be great to have Cody Bellinger. And I still think that there's a really good chance that they're going to end up working out a deal, partly because I don't think there's a groundswell of teams lining up to get him. I think there's some teams that are interested, but I think the Cubs really want to have him back. The players want to have him back. The fans want to have him back. The front office wants to have him back. Right. Yeah. Um, but with that said, if it doesn't work out, and that's what I wanted to kind of get into on today's show, you know, it doesn't mean that the season's over. Um, it just means that other players are going to have to perform, and the Cubs are really going to have to rely on the to, on the young guys to 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 take the slack to make the season a success. And how long is that going to take them to do? But you're right. Looking at where the team was last year and the success that they had. So many of the big games were won by something that Cody Bellinger did. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's my point is that they wouldn't have sniffed a playoff run last mm-hmm. year had it not been for Cody Bellinger just having a freak second half. Yep. Um, he had a good year all around, but he just had a ridiculous um, stretch there at the all star break and the uh, trade deadline and then into the back half of the season. Right. So I just, you know, if you haven't added any other pieces and then you don't keep that piece or bring that piece back, then you're you're really asking for a lot. Now, to say that some of these guys can't become, you know, big playmakers in the lineup, sure, because the Cubs are loaded in the farm. Right. That's also asking a lot to have a team full of youngsters. And Well, Baltimore did it last year, but you got to have Cody Bellinger play like, or excuse me, uh, Pete Crow Armstrong, Hollywood Pete's got to play like he did in the minors. Matt Mervis has That's to play like he did in the minors. Michael Bush yeah. has to play like he did in the minors. Alexander Canario needs more playing time, but he actually had, uh, you know, a couple games with the Cubs where he showed what he can do. But you're right. I mean, those guys, Baltimore and Tampa Bay and a lot of these other teams have proven that you can win with young players. Sure. But you can. And you and you add pieces as you go. 
Uh, because if if you're in contention, you can always add at the trade deadline, you know, if, if you want to make a move there. And one thing not to be, you know, or to forget about that we've talked about on this channel a few times is that next year's class of free agents is going to be bigger than this year's. So that's another piece of it, you know, where people say, hey, you know, like you said, I may not want to get tied down if the value, in my opinion, isn't here right. when I want to spend some money next year. Yeah. Well, there's a guy I like more who's going to be a free agent next year. And I'd right. rather look at that guy. Um, and the first name that comes to mind is Juan Soto because he's he's on a one year deal with the Yankees mm-hmm. um, yeah. after the trade with San Diego. So but yeah, I mean, at first base this year, if you don't put Bellinger in that slot, then, you know, Mick, we've got different guys that can can go in there and, you know, be a stopgap. You, you got Mervis, who never got a fair shot. You still have Michael Bush. Uh, who can go in there and play that position? Um, Patrick Wisdom played that spot a little bit too, off Ooh. and on. When yeah, he, his defense though. Oof. Well, I'm, I'm not saying it's my A game, but I, it's not my. You're a just saying game. he's a guy you could put I'm in just there. Right? If you, if what about Christopher? Mor- right, Christopher Morel. Morel yeah. They've talked about him playing over there. He hasn't proven anything defensively and consistently at the plate, but he did hit 26 home runs in the big leagues, and then he had that amazing month in. Uh, and triple a yeah you're right i mean there's other options there it's a lot easier the path like you said is a lot easier to get into the playoffs and do some damage with cody bellinger and and looking back on the season a year ago with the diamondbacks going to the world series it shows you once you get into the postseason anything can happen and the cubs were right there and came up short so um i'm not saying that i I don't want to see cody bellinger signed I'm just saying that that the Cubs front office really has to and they have sat down, looked at this roster and said, if we don't sign him, it doesn't mean that the season's over. It just means that it's going to look different. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. And you bring up a good point. You know, money like the Dodgers spend um, really and truly, it kind of buys your way and it using that term, I know some people don't like that, but it kind of puts you in the playoffs. But you're right. When you get into these five and seven game series, anything goes. Yep. And and then it doesn't matter. Oh, think about it. You sign Otani, right? And he's amazing. And he's your ace. And he's this great hitter and everything. Literally in a five game series, all he has to have is one bad outing. One bad outing. And then it's like you could lose the entire game. And now you're down 0-1. Mm-hmm. And, and or if he gets hurt, of, if, look, if that hurt, guy yeah. twists his knee, if he gets hurt again, I mean, he's already hurt as a pitcher. He gets hurt again, and they've wasted all of that money and those resources. Yeah, um, that's why you you want to have a strong system because if you lose someone, you just don't want to be have uh, the markdown, you know, the step down be so far. You know, right. you you, you want to have another guy that's able to jump in there and uh, and fill in. You know, and, and, and think about 2016, Kyle Schwarber got hurt at the beginning of the season and they went through that whole year without him. I mean, he came back for the World Series, but um, that crazy. W- yeah, which but that team and that and that team had so many good players and the system had some good players to help out to slide in and fill out that spot. And I don't even think they utilized all those guys because they had so many, but that was a good thing. Uh, for yeah. them. So we'll keep an eye on this. Um, this definitely going to be an interesting week. And like I said yesterday, if you heard me through all that clutter, is that I think that Corbin Burns trade has triggered uh, the market. And I, I saw Ross Stripling trade it with some cash over to the A's from the Giants. And I talked about it, you know, yesterday, and I'll say it again, you know, the Boris Four, as uh, they're being called by some in the media, still haven't signed. So you're talking about you're talking about Cody Bellinger, top of that list, right? Matt Chapman, the third baseman. Uh, and the Cubs are still in the mix for both of those guys, by the way. Blake Snell, who I think could very easily end up with San Francisco. And then Jordan Montgomery, who we saw put it all together to help the Rangers win the World Series. You know, so those guys are all still four out there. But I think once one goes, I think you're going to see like dominoes. They're all going to fall. And I, and I really feel like with pitchers and catchers reporting on February 14th that the players want to get it done. The front offices want to get it done. Everyone wants to get it done. Boris is trying to hold out, but 
I, it just feels like the market isn't there for him this year. And there's a couple choices. You either take what you get or you could say, hey, you know what? We're going to do a one-year deal and then test the market again next year. With those guys, I don't think that's going to happen on any four of those guys, but you could. And that's what happened with Bellinger last year. No interest. Comes to the Cubs for a $17 million one-year pillow deal, and he killed it. You know, So that's what we're looking at right now. Appreciate all you guys hanging out with us on the Cubs baseball channel. Uh, a couple of things before we jump. I want to remind you again, we're brought to you by the Cubs AA affiliate, the Smokies. Check out their team store, SmokiesBaseball.com backslash store for some great deals. And then, of course, there he is. Don't call him Catfish. Call him <laughs> Chadwick Anderson. But if he, if you do call and you say Catfish, he'll know who you're talking to. Yeah, I don't know exactly where he came from at that point. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah no uh chadwick anderson.com uh I tell you guys the mortgage rates have have kind of you know buoyed back and forth but housing demand has gone crazy ever since january 1st uh in december we saw an eight percent uptick in pending contracts january's heated up uh, or was heated up february is doing the same thing there's more multiple offer situations back out there again so uh if you'd like to look at that or refinance scan the qr code you get a credit uh with us by being a fan and a part of this channel and you can also check out the website or email me or text me call me directly those are my uh, numbers and emails my personal ones on the screen so you won't get anybody else it'll come straight to me you guys can talk Cubs baseball when you, you can, do your mortgage yeah. with him. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Again, make sure that you uh, like and give us a thumbs up. How about the fact that we made it through the entire vacation and I took you guys with me? You got to go to Key West. You got to go to Key Largo. You got to go to Marathon, which, by the way, was terrible. Um, and, and now you're in Tallahassee. So we're to everywhere I go, you get to go with me. So uh, go Cubs, and we'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.